Yo, yo! What's up, YouTube? Haven't seen you guys in a while. I missed y'all. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you what I've been doing behind the scenes. Um, I recommend you go back and watch the first video um, in this playlist. And it'll kind of bring you up to speed and, and, then, and the thought process um, on what is what you're about to see in this video here. Um, this is the latest evolution of the go-kart that I was going to build. Um, as you can see here, it looks a lot different than what <laughs> I originally anticipated looking like in that video. Um, I'm still using 90% lawnmower parts. All I did was build a frame around it out of one inch box steel. That's really that simple. Um, so we'll start up front, give you guys a, a tour around it. So the front end is off a of lawn man, yard machine, something uh, riding lawnmower. Um, I just simply cut it in half and I whitened it out. Uh, now, don't worry. I'll go back and I'll clean all this up and make it look all pretty and stuff. But, you know, we're still in that phase of uh, construction where I just I need to get it together and I need to assess. Um, so, so that's what I did. It's, it's a lawnmower front end, lawnmower front axle, lawnmower uh, wheels, tires. We got six inch wheels up front. Um, all I had to make was the pitman arm, which is right here. And then I welded it onto the to the factory um, steering shaft from the same lawnmower that donated its front end to the cause. Um, these tie rods also came from that same lawnmower. Now they weren't straight like this. I had to put them in my press and straighten them out. And I had to buy a ball joint. That's the only thing I had to buy so far besides the steel. So that's the front end. I don't know how good that's going to be. You know, that's one of them things I might have to get up to speed and see if it's a death trap or not. So, and then, you know, based upon that, I can I can make alterations as I go. Uh, but like I said, you know, same steering wheel from the go-kart, steering shaft, I mean, front end, it's all lawnmower. This all lawnmower. Um, this seat is not going to be the seat that I'm going to use. This is just for mocking so I can see, where you know, round about where my feet were going to be. Um, the rear part of this thing is where I... Where, where I can really appreciate what I've done. Um, I just simply cut the rear section of that lawnmower off and just literally bolted it to the frame that I built. And then because of that, the motor mounts onto it. The axle is where it needs to be. All I got to do is get the belt arrangements figured out. You know, now if if you're into mud mowers and you watch that type of stuff, you know that you can adjust the speed of a riding lawnmower by messing with the pulleys. So, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do like a one to one ratio on pulleys on this. Probably, I don't know, two five inch pulleys or two six inch pulleys. One on the engine, one on the transaxle. That way, the clutch is still gonna work. Oh, by the way, did I mention this is gonna be a five speed manual? So I guess it's uh, oh geez, it's a shifter cart. Oh boy. Anyway, so that's what I've been working on lately, and I apologize I haven't really filmed any of this. This would have been a good project to be filming, but um, moving forward, uh, you know, anything else I do to this thing, I will, I will make sure that I make videos on. There's still a ton of work to be done. Uh, we're still in that stand and stare phase where I weld something on and stand and stare at it for 10 minutes. So, but like I said, there's still a lot that needs to be done, a lot that needs to be welded, buttoned up, fabricated, thought about. Um, so as, as these things unfold, um, I'll be sure to make videos on that. So I'm going to give you one more little kind of walk around, let you all kind of look at it. Oh, and most angles on this thing are cut at 45 too, just to keep it simple. I'm going to have a separate video on the transaxle. Um, there's a lot of really neat stuff <coughs> excuse me, that went on with the transaxle and, I'll, and I'm gonna reserve a lot of the verbiage for that video. But, you know, as you can see, let me say this about this. The transaxle is a lot wider than a factory lawnmower um, because I ran a 36 inch keyed shaft all the way through it. So, of course, I made my, my typical bracing Bring some bring support. <coughs> Sorry, as far out as I possibly could from the chassis. That way, I don't I don't bend an axle because there's no suspension on this thing. So these there's gonna be a lot of forces back there. Right. So hold on, vague. 
So that's where I'm at with it right now, guys. I, I just thought I'd take an opportunity to bring you up to speed on what I'm working on. Um, anything moving forward, I'll be sure to film. And guys, I appreciate y'all sticking around. And uh, y'all have a great day, and we will see you on the next video.